Good morning, class. Today we're going to be working on complete subjects and complete predicates on our reader's notebook, page 31, and subject verb agreement on page 32. So subjects, complete subjects and complete predicates. And we've worked on simple subjects and simple predicates, but when we talk about complete subject and complete predicate, that just means complete subject is everything that describes or tells who or what the sentence is about. And the complete cr predicate has all of the words that tell what the subject is or what the subject does. And so in this activity, you're going to be circling the complete subject in the sentence, and you're going to underline the complete predicate. Number one says, the girl with the blue ribbon was running for class president. And the complete subject, everything that tells us what the sentence is about. Well, we know the sentence is about the girl, okay? But we also have information about the girl there that includes a description, which is the girl with the blue ribbon. And so our complete subject is the girl with the blue ribbon. And then when we move to the complete predicate, remember that's everything, all of the words that tell us what the subject is or does. And here we have was running for class president. Well, what was the girl with the blue ribbon doing? She was running for class president. So all you have to do here is identify all of the information that tells the, about the subject, that's who or what the sentence is about, and circle it, and then underline the complete predicate and that's what the subject is or what the subject is doing in the sentence. And so if you'd go ahead and work on two through six on your own, you can pause the video here and then resume when you're ready. We're also going to talk today about subject verb agreement and you reviewed this last year in units four and five. You guys would have reviewed it in unit six but you didn't quite make it to unit six last year. So Units four and five, you had some subject verb agreement. And what they mean by subject verb agreement is that if a subject is plural, then the verb needs to be plural. Or if a subject is singular, then the verb needs to be singular. And you can see in our example up here, it says we for a plural subject, we because that's more than one, and then the plural verb is are recounting, okay? And if it were singular, it would say we is recounting, and you can tell that that doesn't make sense, right? So if it's singular, it would have been is, but because it's plural, it's are recounting instead of is recounting. So that's what we mean by subject-verb agreement. And now in the activity, all you need to do is write the correct form of each verb. Number one says, everyone has already voted in the election, or everyone have already voted in the election. And it's everyone, so it needs to be has. So you would just write has on the line. And the second part of number one says, the students is excited to hear the results, or the students are excited to hear the results. And here, we know that it's going to be are because students is plural. The students are excited to hear the results. And you need to write are on the line. Now, when you're working on two, three, and four, I recommend that you say them to yourself out loud. Read them to yourself out loud, just like I read the two examples in number one to you. Because oftentimes, even if you can't see it when you're reading, you can hear what doesn't sound correct. And sometimes just hearing it will kind of cue you that something sounds odd or off. You can go ahead and finish these and then make sure you attach them to your assignment in Teams when you turn them in today, please. Thank you.